Right you guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine video. I hope you're having fun, I certainly am. We've got the best of the defensive lineman workouts at the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. Today's date is the 28th of April. This video was brought out on February the 29th, so as of tomorrow, it's two months old. Um, defensive lineman, you know, we, we've watched some offensive linemen, we're going to watch the defensive lineman now. As far as size, stature, speed, athleticism goes, they're probably going to be very similar. I believe the guys on the defensive side of the ball may be a little bit faster, maybe a little bit less, I guess, heavy, due to the fact that they have to be a little bit more mobile. You know, they're trying to actually get past someone and, and tackle someone, whereas an offensive lineman is looking to hold someone up so that their offensive players can, can play behind them or play around them. Um, at least that's how I see it. So, so without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, you ain't getting an offensive lineman running a 4.62. 40. Smith Williams, who's in the clubhouse right now, is fastest defensive lineman. I, I feel like I give a shout out to NC State's strength program every year at the combine. They Beats, do a wonderful job. You beat Nick, one, Nick Bosa? And number two overall selection in the draft. Where, where Mahomes was. Right. Right, he's moving. He got out. Oh, my. 1.73 and yeah. then 4.83. He has to take one of these guys down. See how he does. If I'm, if I'm Sam and Baker, He's not going to beat Baker nervous. Mayfield. Oh my god. Oh, well, they're going to have to chase him down in the sound. Yeah. That's a piss take. OMG. You're about to see AJ Epinesa. Oh, yeah. How oh, many? 225. 17 times. Good work, by the way. By a lot of these running backs. Uh, even wide receivers have. Not higher, but as high numbers on the bench as some of these big fellas, and I just don't get it. That is a nice technique. Beast. Fucking hell, almost 300 pounds. 31 reps. He was up quick. Oh, I think they missed the time. They missed the time. That's not right. He was moving better than that. Well, we'll see what's what on that, obviously. Yeah, that's that's not right. That's the second best player in the draft, in my opinion. 5-1-1 is what it was. Jarrett Brown. By Charlie Cassidy. See, Charlie always has our back. So, this is your guy, your number two player on your top 50. Yeah, that's big Derek Brown from Auburn. Six, four and a half, 326 pounds, moving pretty well. See how tight he can stay here. That's an interesting drill. I haven't seen that one before. Three hundred twenty plus pounds, changing direction. Fucking hell! It's not very nice. Finish off. Show you the effort. Now you see the violent hands they were talking about. Pop in his hands, wrap around and finish. Now you see him again, simulating going on the chase, which you'll see him do a lot on tape there at Auburn. Oh, I like this look at it. Very cool. Now, speaking of Chase, Chase Young's number Very one cool. on your top 50. Number two, that guy. You're okay, so this right. is number two. All right, so I better, better pay attention because he's going to be drafted. D. Brown, and we've got the number one prospect, Chase Young, who's six foot six from Ohio State. Are we going to see him this, this video? DL3 here in Indianapolis. A decorated player, a talented player. Uh, somebody who 
Should have a short night in Las Vegas, Nevada in a few weeks from now. Should do. This hype man said lock it out 5,000 times that day. Go! 28 reps, 2-8. Again, he wins with power, he wins with his hands. He's He can really flip his hips as a rusher. I think he's a high floor player. I don't think you're going to miss on that, but Nessa, the question is the ceiling. How, how great of a player can he be? Same transition that we saw from smaller guys. I don't know if I would have had him in this space anyway. No. That's why some of these guys I thought should have been in an earlier group. See up and Nessa here. Here, Joe Collin. Like, he's going to get the grade right now. I mean, later on tonight, as we're watching Epinesa go through. That was pretty smooth. That was nice. Here's Epinesa. I'm not exactly sure what I'm meant to be looking for here, but I can... The idea is to get around the loop. So even in the tackle, even if you're tackling somebody, right? Right. And if you go and make the tackle, if the crown it's is getting, here and your head is down... It's just getting that big body down and around things and, I guess, staying on your feet, which wouldn't be easy. Right. That's a fine now. But that's an open field tackle you've had. You got a better angle for that. Being in the same. That whole draft. What are they going? An interception. Right? <laughs> AJ Green. Draft class 2011. Greatest draft class oh. of all time. And. Change the team. Never know. Get moving. Speaking of, you know, Lamar Jackson being 32nd overall. Good job. Good job. You're about to see AJ Epinesa. All the way up. Lock it out. 17 times. Well, that was fun. The best of the defensive lineman workouts. Okay, we're nearly there, guys. The draft has already happened. That's a crazy thing. But I... Well, when videos come out that I know there is simply no other option than to make reaction videos like this. I, I do all I can not to watch it or not to hear anything. If I see messages come up on Instagram or if I'm um, you know, tagged in something, I just do not watch it. It's been hard, but we're nearly there. We've got four more videos to go, guys. And they are. Best of the linebacker workouts. The best of the simul cam, which would be an easy video to watch. Best of the defensive back workouts. Be very impressive. And we're finishing it off with the biggest risers and fallers following the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. That's going to be the perfect video to segue into watching the beginning of the draft. And we're not going to go straight into round number one. We're going to be, you know, watching some of the, the introduction clips. Um, we're going to be watching some interviews. We're going to be watching, you know, some of the lead up, some of the, I guess, you know, just a bit of analysis on the draft, on what we saw here before we go and into, into watching the draft. So I, I feel like it's draft day today. I'm excited. And, uh, you know, wh whatever team that you do follow, whether that's a college football team or an NFL team, I hope that some of your favorite players were drafted, were successful in getting drafted. And I then hope that they not only get drafted, but they also make the squad because we all know there's a massive gap between those two things happening. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed. Peace out.